guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know, I'm Lena Conrad. Thank you guys for stopping by and clicking on this video. If you guys haven't already joined the family, click the little subscribe button down below to join the fam. Sorry, I'm a little bit awkward. But today I'm going to be doing a pride tutorial for you guys. Same-sex marriage was legalized a few years ago on my birthday to be exact. I believe it was 2016 that they legalized it. That makes me happy because I believe that we should be able to love who we love without there being anything against that. And I 100% support that. It makes me happy to see other people happy. I love supporting the LGBTQ community. I love supporting everyone no matter what your sexual orientation is, religion, whatever, you know. I have nothing against anyone. So in today's tutorial, I am going to be showing you guys how to achieve this cut crease. I just really wanted to sit down and film this before I head to California for my birthday weekend. I'm celebrating a little bit early because my birthday falls on a Wednesday, so I'm celebrating this weekend instead of the following weekend. But yeah, I'm really excited. We're gonna be going to stay around the Irvine area. We're gonna go to the Travis Barker's vegan restaurant while we're down there. So that'll be pretty interesting. And then I think we're gonna go to Catalina Island. We're wanting to do like kayaking and zip lining and all that fun stuff. So I'm really excited. And Chewie's gonna be tagging along with us. It's a little nerve-wracking, but we're going to try to get him on a kayak. So if you see a video, I'm also going to be vlogging the whole trip. So you guys might get to see Chewy in a little vest kayaking or whatever, you know. So that'll be definitely interesting. We're just going to go ahead and get into this tutorial. And I really hope you guys enjoy it. guys so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this tutorial I already have one eye done and I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate on the other eye for you guys so you guys can see how to achieve this pride cut crease so I'm really excited you guys so I'm gonna zoom you in so you guys can get the full details of what I'm doing let's go ahead and get into it all right so here's just a closer look of what we are achieving today and I'm going to be using my Morphe 35B palette. It is a very old school palette from Morphe. I just love that it has a lot of bright vivid colors to use and it is perfect to create this rainbow cut crease. And I'm just going to be using two specific brushes, one to pack on the color and one to kind of buff and blend out the color. So to pack on the shade, I'm going to be using the JH38 from the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush collection. It's just a nice, small, penciled dome brush. So you can use anything. It doesn't have to be this one specifically. It just needs to be a nice, small, dome pencil brush. And I'll do the trick. And then I am going to be using... JH40 from the same collection to buff it out. It's just a smaller blending brush. So that's the two brushes that I'm going to be using to do this whole first step of the process. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and start packing on the red, and I'm going to be doing that in my inner corner for you guys. So I'm just really going to stamp that in to make sure that the pigment is nice and bold. And I got some red on my nose. Crapola. I guess I'll clean that up in a minute. Um, yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and stamp this into the inner corner. So you can see it's just that nice, bold, vivid red for you guys. And then I'm going to go back to my little dome brush and I'm just going to go ahead and blend out the red shade. And I'm just going to go ahead and continue that for every color and then I'm just going to use my little color switch from the Sephora. I'm just going to use that in between to kind of clean up the color so I can jump into the next color. So I'm going to go ahead and continue the process for each shade. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease now. It's just crazy like how much of a difference cut creasing really does make. The side looks pretty sloppy right now, but it'll look like the side soon. I'm going to go ahead and cut crease it right now. And I'm going to be using my Born It This Way concealer from Too Faced. And just ahead of, I really do suck at doing cut creases. It's not really my 
for not that it's not my forte it just takes me a while guys but of course this is going to be fast forwarded in a moment but i'm just going to kind of like demonstrate how i did it so i just kind of run the brush with the concealer along where the crease is like where you like push and there's like you can feel like the little bone right in between the bone and your eyeball that's where you're going to run the brush along and we're gonna get rid of this whole bottom half. So that's just the kind of basic general outline of where I'm putting my concealer. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the process. All right, so now that we have that whole cut crease done, I am going to go ahead and set it with a white shadow. And then I'm just going to go ahead and highlight the brow bone real quick. And I'm going to be using my Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just going to go ahead and take this shade right here, the first one in the palette. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and go on to the next step. And I'm just going to go ahead and line the cut crease. And I'm going to be taking my NYX Liquid Glitter. And this is in the gold shade. Now that I have that glitter liner on, I'm going to go ahead and go on to the next step. I'm just going to go ahead and do the lower lash line real quick. I'm just going to go ahead and do the same rainbow pattern. So now that I have basically the, all the eyeshadow done, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner and lashes off camera real quick. And then we'll go ahead and proceed to the next step. Alright, so I just did my liner and lashes off camera for you now i'm just going to go ahead and do the last step to this whole process and that's going to be adding the glitter to the inner corner so i'm going to be using the charisma beauty glitter and that's just what it looks like it's nice chunky beautiful glitter i just spilled some and I'm just going to be taking some lash glue and just dabbing a little bit into my inner corner. And you kind of want to be fast with this because the glue does set pretty fast. And then I'm also going to run the remainder over my lid as well. I'm gonna go ahead and set that real quick and I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay spray today. But I just wanna set that before the glitter starts to move. So that is the completed look for the eye portion. I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips real quick. So I'm gonna zoom you guys out for that and then we'll do a whole conclusion. All right, so I thought it was recording while I was filming putting me on lipstick, but it wasn't, unfortunately, which is like annoying because this is like the second time it's done it to me. But I was using the Bare Minerals Liquid Lip, and this is in the shade Swag. This honestly smells so good. It smells like cocoa, and it's just like, mm, but I love it. This is one of my favorite shades. All right, so that just wraps up my tutorial for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And like I said, I'm going to be vlogging my birthday trip. So that's going to be exciting. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that next week. But yeah, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and hit that notification bell because you guys don't want to miss any content because I am posting every Friday, like I said. If you guys have any requests, please leave them down below and I will be sure to check them out. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you guys have a amazing weekend and I will see you guys next week.